Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're going to be playing EverQuest Project 1999 on Malik I am working on farming some ore so that I can get some Arctic Wyvern made for my shaman, which is named Where Odin. I should be doing some videos on him soon, but right now I'm just doing, um, doing some farming for him. So, I wanted to talk to you guys about several things. I was originally planning on doing a video a few days ago for the um, hardcore mode that I plan on doing. And I got a lot of messages about it. Some people saying that it's not, um, it's not built so that tanks um, like melee could uh, participate. One second, hide corpse. Who did? Um, so let me just go over the rules. Let me. I think I should still have it. Yeah. So here's the rules that I I originally had: is uh, no grouping, uh, remain guildless. One of the other things is that you um, can only speak in the race's native language. Um, so for me, it would be dark elf, or I believe that's it. Yeah, Dark Elvish, um, and then Elder Ev Elvish can be done by, say, um, High Elves, I believe. But either way, Dark Elvish is what I would speak uh, on Malik Dory. Um, so, yeah, that was, that was my original plan. Also, can't buy or sell from player characters, which is where the big thing came in with the Warriors. Specifically because of the fact of having to get magical equipment once they get around 50 It would be very hard for them to be able to do that uh, to solo I mean and uh, Also no twinking acceptance of gifts or power leveling that also includes that you can't be buffed you would have to um, click off any buffs that you received uh, No matter what the buff is it's it's a solo gameplay with your own personal abilities. So, <laughs> one of the other things that ended up coming up, and I didn't think about this as, as something that would be a major issue, and that was that I had people telling me that the whole aspect, oh, one second, the whole aspect of being guildless the whole time would be hard enough as its own challenge. And for me, um, being that I have ADD, I don't think about those kind of things because for me, being guildless is a dream. I I hate seeing chat, and I, I say that as being in anonymous on this uh, on this character. But to be honest, I truly don't pay attention to chat uh, because of the fact that it's it's daunting to me. I can't keep up with the conversations that people are having, so. That was never an idea for me. So it was, um, whenever I made the rules, I was just making them up for myself and um, thought, well, let me just see if anyone else would want to do this. So I ended up making a group and I got several people who wanted to join the group for it as well. So I thought about, uh, well, the original idea was that not until 60 can you um, have you beaten the challenge and if you at any time deviate from this challenge if you have accepted it then you delete the character upon deviating from that line <laughs> you know me i i made no time to res which is a guild that whenever you die you have 30 seconds to log out of the character and then delete it so uh there is that um, so here's my caveat or my, my workarounds for this. There is, um, you could join ALS being the only guild outside of making our own guild, uh, for it because of the fact that they, they follow a lot of the ideas or ideals that I'm talking about with the challenge, um, and they also are pretty strict on equipment. You can only trade within the guild, which again goes against these these rules. But here is here's my idea: is that 
we could make a guild that follows the structure where you can group with people within the guild as long as they're within, let's say, five levels. Not the 1.5 times um, times level thing. That's That's out. That's too much. So, I mean, for me, I would have even made it uh, three, only three levels above or below you. All the members in the group have to be. That way, it kind of restricts you to being with the same people most of the time. Uh, that kind of thing. So, if there was a guild, what you could do is you could have, like, weekly raids to help people get equipment, like doing a Jenna, whatever, you're around level 35 or so, uh, and, and going that route. Um, I, I think that would be fun, but here is the thing. I could not be the guild leader. I am very bad at being a guild leader. Uh, that's why when we got to a certain point with no time to res, I ended up just giving it over to uh, the other officers in the guild. Uh, it wasn't that I didn't like being the leader. It's just that I don't have the attention span to be a leader. I'm good with ideas. I'm just <laughs> bad with with uh, with leading. And it just got to the point where I just wasn't on uh, very often to even talk to the people in the guild. And then my um, Discord uh, account that I was using for myself ended up becoming bugged and I had to make a new one and I don't even have my my no time to res guild um as in my discord anymore which I am going to be getting from a friend of mine so I can put that back in and see what's been going on see if anyone is still following it at all <clears throat> so here here's the new rule set ideas is that Grouping is allowed only within a guild that is that you would join. So if we were to make a guild, only within that guild can you group. Making it so that grouping is more re reliant on the guild. Here's my, my current issue with guilds and grouping. There are some guilds that are really good with it. Uh, Kittens who say meow are really good at grouping with their guild members. But I think I and you who've played the game for a while may notice that in guilds that raid and do things like that, there are people who only come for the raids and then they're not seen for the rest of the week. And then there's people like me who are 40, uh, 52 in a, in a raid guild as a main. I put Malagdori in as my main instead of, say, my rogue or any other character that I have. Because of the fact that I do want to level up Malagdori. But whenever it comes to actually grouping outside of raiding, it is very hard to find a group. And then you have people who are part of a niche group of people that always group together or who are always doing certain zones. And I, I've gotten that as well whenever I was playing my cleric. I had a niche group of people that I always grouped with and that's just how it was. I don't like guilds that do, do that, that alienate individuals because of the fact that they're not part of their niche group. So if we were to do this as a guild, that is something I do not want. I want people to feel welcome to join groups. If we have a group going and we have more interest of people, then we would make a second group. And then that way, one group could be taking one part of the zone, the other group could be taking another and there's always people who are participating. That said, um, I know that's kind of hard to moderate. Um, and that's why I don't want to be a guild leader. <laughs> uh, let's switch out weapons here. Ooh, um, let's move that. And we'll drop that there. So that's, that's something I wanted to talk about. The other thing I wanted to talk about, by the way, let me know if there are any of these rules that you would change, why you would change them. Um, would, would you rather have a guild? Uh, I have some ideas on names, but if you want to put out an idea for a guild name, 
if you have an idea or if anyone wants to take up the leadership of said guild, <laughs> let me know. Uh, but I wanted to also talk about some other things like my enchanter. Uh, you may have noticed that I stopped doing videos for my enchanter. And that is because I have gotten to the point where I absolutely despise my enchanter now. I just don't have fun with that class. I kind of knew that that was a possibility going into it. So my shaman is taking that place. My shaman is someone that I'm going to be leveling a lot. Um, if you want more information on a very good shaman who has very good information to give out whenever it comes to that kind of stuff, check out Super Bits and Bobs. He is probably one of the better people to watch. He has had only shamans and one enchanter in a lifetime of his channel, and that's talking five plus shamans of each uh, varying race, maybe except for Ixar. Uh, but yeah, it is um, it's something that I, I plan to do. So instead of doing videos on how to be a good shaman, I'll probably be doing videos on, hey, I'm soloing here and this is how I'm soloing this location. And this is probably the bad way to do it, but I'm still doing it anyway. Uh, that way you guys can criticize uh, or give tips on what I can do better. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's really all I wanted to talk about today. Um, after this, after I get done farming here, I may do another video on just crafting and whatnot. Because um, I, I don't know about you guys. I know EverQuest has a very... <sighs> grindy i mean everything's grindy in everquest that's just the way it is there's actually a game that i play called uh never grind because it's based off of evergrind uh the name because that is what we do is constantly grind to get levels to get um to get uh spells to get equipment to farm ore for crafting and all that kind of thing but for some reason Crafting is one of the things that I like in this game, even though it's very, very grindy. It's it's the the building up of the components that's required to make an item, and then that success of making that item, or the heartbreak of failing, really, really bad. So, anyway, I may be doing a video on Malagdori, doing some crafting for my shaman. And then I also have um, a ton of um, adamantite enchanted rings. So if I can get the stuff for the temper, then I'm maybe just uh, making that stuff. I've already handed out a full set to a newbie as kind of a gift to uh, welcome to the server. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, well, we'll see what we do with that. Uh, maybe I'll do that again. I'm trying to get to the point where I can make the plate armor. But again, temper is just one of those things that is just... It's not hard to get. It's just very, very grindy to get it. Uh, you have to kill Shadowmen. Then um, they have a rare chance of dropping the shadow essence i think is what it's called and then you have to get the shadow or the um elves blood which is best to be gotten in ocean of tears at the sister island off of the arolis sisters okay hey okay let me get this guy so, yeah, I expect some more videos coming out. Um, like I said, there are times when I just hit a wall. I think it's like a uh, writer who is working on a book and they, they just sit and look at the computer screen for hours on end trying to figure out what they're going to write next or, or how they're going to come up with the next chapter. And while that isn't something that really makes sense for this game, whenever I get on, 
I can sit and do nothing for hours and it doesn't bother me, but it also keeps me from being, um, from, from making content. And even now that I don't have monetization, I like to make videos. It's the editing, everything along those lines I really enjoy. So I'm going to try to continue to get videos to come out at a constant basis. But just know that it's it's uh, more of time, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, guys, that's really all I wanted to talk about today. Hopefully you enjoyed. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.